Hey everybody, Jeremy here from Shade Tree Vintage Auto and DD Auto and Salvage here in Logan, Utah. And I'm gonna show you a couple A bodies that I have available for sale here. Um, this first one is pretty rare. We're gonna go over it first. So this is a late 1970 Plymouth Duster. And as you can see by uh, some of the paint is it's an original FM3 Moulin Rouge as Plymouth called it. Dodge called it Panther Pink. Um, super rare color. Uh, it was only a half year option and it was the least painted color Chrysler had. Uh, supposedly, and this is unverified, but there's less than 100 dusters painted this color originally. This one does have the fender tag, which I have and can show you. Um, it's a 318 automatic car. It's pretty solid. There's some rust in a few different places. Uh, it's really not a bad car. This would be an awesome project for somebody. And original pink, which is just crazy. Uh, as you can see, the car is fairly complete. It does have the 318 and the automatic in it. As you can see, this quarter panel right here has been sectioned in, so it was hit here at some point. But like I said, really, it's not a bad car. We'll need some floor work um, as well as a few other things. The biggest issue is in the engine compartment. At some point, this was somebody's race car and they cut the inner fender wells for fender wall headers, as you can see back right there and right there but I have some really nice solid inner fenders that I'm going to include with the car. Uh, I do not know running condition of the engine or transmission, uh, but I believe it's just a 318. I don't believe that it's numbers matching. Fender tag is not on the car, but like I said, I do have it uh, and I'll show it at the end of the video. Really, this is pretty good project car. You could even probably build it and have fun as is. Uh, really, like I said, quite solid. There is some weird rust up in the hood and I have another hood that's included as well. The interior, as you saw, is pretty complete. Let me grab the keys and I'll open the trunk. You can see it's got the correct seat with the right headrests and everything. And then when you open the trunk, it's very evident the pink and it is bright. If you guys haven't ever seen this pink when it's fresh, it's awesome. Old duster. So you can see how bright and vibrant that pink is. But it's gonna need some floor work, but really overall, it's not bad. I have never pulled the back seat to see if it has a build sheet. Uh, you can see the trunk rail, the spare tire rail is gonna need a little help. Still even has the plastic covers over the tail lights, which are kind of rare. The jacks is in place. So it's got a seven and a quarter. And really, I don't believe that there's much or any frame damage. I haven't noticed any. And I have had the car up in the air and there was nothing to note. But really, really hard to find in this color. Anybody that knows this color knows that. So those wheels look really cool on it. They're probably like old JC Penny wheels or something. Um, I was going to build this car till I picked up the sassy grass green car. So gathered up some nice parts for it. So, but this car is going to be listed on eBay. And like I said, anybody that knows Mopars or knows pink cars, they know how rare that FM3 color is. So... Let me put the key back in. We'll go over here to the 71 Demon. So this was a slant six car originally. It's also really solid. The biggest issue with this is at some point in time, it was hit pretty hard in the back. And so it was sectioned. So you can see the A pillar was cut and then across the back floor, but they did a pretty good job. The door shut nice, everything like that. And that was really common back in the day. So like I said, just a slant six car, but it is a real demon. On this one, what you see is what I have for it. It is missing the tail lights, unfortunately, uh, but you can get those. But really a good body to start with. Being that it was just a slant six car, it'd be a great little race car. It's really Ooh. solid. You can see the trunk floor is really good. Oh. 
tail panel is actually even pretty nice, which is really rare. Uh, the rear axle is an eight and a quarter large bolt pattern, but it still has a small bolt pattern up front. Interior is mostly complete. So, so that's gonna help somebody out. You can see the floors, there's just a little bit of damage, but floors should be easy fix, easy repairs. Get the hood open. So you can see the inner fenders are really nice. Firewall, everything does have a fender tag on it. It was light blue originally, but this is a perfect car to do whatever you want. I'm not positive, but I do think that that's already a V8K frame. But again, not 100% positive on that. It was an air car. So, and I do have the hood hinges for it. Uh, they're just not on it. Again, another car that we gathered up parts to make it better and more complete. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a good extension up here. So this car, as well as the Demon, will be listed here shortly. And I've got a couple other cars, A-bodies also I'm going to be listing. I've just got to get them ready, prepped for sale. And you'll be able to see videos of those. And... Uh, let me find the fender tag or go grab the fender tag and we'll go over the fender tag on this one. So as promised, here's the fender tag uh, for the duster and there's really not much to see. You can see the E44, which is 318 and the D31, which is automatic. Um, above that, two lines, FM3, which is Moulin Rouge and then Moulin Rouge top. So there's no vinyl or anything like that. Black interior, bench seat, built April 23rd of 1970. YL5 is a special order car. R11 is basic radio. And G33 is just the chrome outside mirror. So really this fender tag doesn't tell you a lot, but it does give you the important bit, which is that it is an FM3 car. Um, and like I said, I haven't pulled the back seat to see if there's a build sheet, but if there is, that would give you a lot of information. And a really quick sneak peek of a couple of the others. This is a real 69, 340, four speed swinger. Uh, no engine or trance and only has a seven and a quarter rear end in it. Unfortunately, it's missing the fender tag, but there is enough here that you can see what this car was, is. Uh, and it's pretty solid. So this one's getting ready. And I'll go to the next one. This one is a 71 Plymouth Scamp. 318 automatic it's basically complete this one is a 71 scamp 318 auto it's basically a complete car i'm gonna get it ready as well this would be a perfect car for uh the project cars at the strip at muscle cars and at the strip in las vegas uh which is march of next year 2024 so like i said it's basically complete uh, I have the gauge cluster and all the other stuff for it, and I'm going to put all that stuff with it. Like I said, got to get the car ready for sale. And all of these cars do have titles. I'll go to the next one. This one is a 72 Plymouth Duster. It's an original TB3 car, which is a Basin Street or Corporate Blue. Was a four-speed or three-speed. There's no fender tag, unfortunately, but the car is super solid. I do have tail lights and some other parts for it uh, that will all be with it when it gets listed. So like I said, these are just previews. And then, oh, these are the inner fenders for the pink car. And then I'll show you an E-body that we have. This is a 71 Challenger, original 318 car. It's actually pretty solid. Don't let that roof fool you. Uh, has a 440 in it that I'm sure is frozen, but it was originally a 318 car. Kind of cool. It's a bench seat column shift car. Uh, really solid, like I said. See those quarters. But it's definitely going to need a roof skin as well as inner fender and framework. But I have a pair of inner fenders and frames that are included with the car. 
Uh, the big thing it's gonna need though is that roof, which that roof skin from AMD is like 500 bucks. And the framework's good, so it's just the roof skin that needs done. Um, so this one's gonna be getting ready. I've got some other parts that go with it, bumper, hood, stuff like that. So again, we're at DD Auto and Salvage and we're in Logan, Utah. Uh, so if you're interested in these cars, they're gonna be for sale. Uh, these two will probably be on eBay here really shortly. Um, that is a super rare car. So if somebody wants a pink duster or a pink Mopar, there's one. And they don't come up available very often as any of you guys that follow pink cars know. So, and it would be a really good one, really cool. And uh, anyway, thanks for watching.